Hi, it's Emerson from Tyrium Games. I, I am just uh, in the process of learning Unreal 4, and today I figured out how to make a duck animation work. Um, having followed the awesome tutorials from Unreal, uh, from the third-person blueprint game to implement my own system. Um, so I'm going to show you how to really quickly, just to give you an overview. Um, if you need more information, bomb me in the comments. So uh, basically you duck... Your animation is basically a duck and then a hold frame at the end and you export those two animations into Unreal. So the first thing you will need to do is find out where you are. I'm still a little fresh, uh, so bear with me. But uh, So what you've got to do is under the project settings, make sure you make an input with crouch. Uh, that should be very easy. Um, then in your... In your... In your... Character blueprint. This is my little character blueprint. Uh, you need to set input action crouch and then add a variable to let the animation blueprint know that it's uh, Boolean and let it know that you're crouching or not. And crouch is built in um, to Unreal. So crouch, uh, there's the action, action events for crouch and then Crouch and uncrouch are built in, and then you just make a little variable um, to to send that to the animation blueprint. Now this is what uh, the um, the animation setup looks like. So uh, basically, it's, you may have seen if you follow your tutorials, you see all this. But um, what you're going to do is there is an is falling uh, function, but there's also an is crouching. So you need to add a setter into the loop. To cast to the to the character, okay, yeah, pretty straightforward. That took me a little bit to figure out the uh, is crouching, finding that kind of opened it up. Then in your state machine, the important thing you've got your idle walk run set up with the speed. It's very similar to jump, except there's only two stages. Jump has jump start, then a ratio of um, of loop the animation until uh, until otherwise. Um, the time and remaining ratio so can enter transition so it's transition to the next stage so the crouch is much the same so you have is crouching fires so it goes to crouch start which is the crouch animation which plays then the ratio to hold it on that last frame so you may have hopefully uh <laughs> My, uh, my, I'm too slow at this point to, to, to do it as we watch, but hopefully this helps you. And then is not crouching sends you back to idle walk run. And what that looks like is, is this. So you've got the, the walking. Oh, I've actually got the wrong level loaded. Let me just get the right one. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of trial and error testing. That was probably those little errors before. So once that initialized, I'll show you. Uh, then what that looks like is... So, you got the walking animation working, and we've got a sprint. Uh, it doesn't look the, the best. It's really just a trial space to figure it out. And then the duck. So, as you can see, using the blend space, there's the transition down, and you can see that the, the little um, uh, sword twitching uh, that uh, as I hold the duck. So um, I'm doing this on my laptop. I still I still need to set up the crouch walk animation. Uh, at the moment, I can slide around, so that's an, but it does work with the top half blend space for the attack animation, which is good. And I'll replace the sword and all that stuff. Yeah, so hopefully that helps somebody out there. Um, I hope the video hasn't been too long. If you need any more help, uh, I can get into specifics, but it'll probably take me 10 minutes to even consider building that thing. Um, here's some of the earlier animations, just testing things out. Uh, we'll finesse as we go. I, I intend to rebuild the whole thing once I learn. Once I have a prototype, I'll build a, a slick version over a bit more time and a bit more experience, fix all the little issues along the way. So yeah, this is uh, this is what it looks like. You can run, you can duck. You can jump, and sometimes that uh, audio fires twice, I'm not sure why.